All right, in the last uh, video, I noticed, um, you know, when I was expanding this energy at the bottom, I mistakenly put the kinetic energy at the bottom twice, and of course, that's really the potential energy at the bottom. So we're we're gonna f fix that problem right here, uh, and so so this this is really this, this equation right here is the conservation of energy. All right, so um, we're gonna continue on and just look at that equation uh, reminding ourselves of course that the velocity at the top is zero and the height at the bottom is zero so um, just a quick reminder uh, ke in general is one half mv squared All right, and so it's either you know for the kinetic energy at the top if the velocity at the top is zero then this term is going to be zero. Okay, so so that's you know we're simplifying everything and also um, reminding ourselves that the potential energy, whether it's at the top or the bottom, is always the mass times little g times the height. But we know from um, defi you know defining the the bottom uh, as a reference point, the the height at the bottom is zero. So what's that going to do? The height at the bottom is zero. That's going to tell us that the potential energy at the bottom is zero. So what what happens now is this equation simplifies. Uh, let me let me have it in the picture here. So this equation simplifies to just the potential energy at the top equals the kinetic energy at the bottom. Okay. And so this is from the conservation of energy. And so now let's write out what the uh, potential energy at the top is. So, well, potential energy is the mass of the object times little g uh, times, times the height at the top. And we already know that from the problem, right? Just to remind ourselves, the height at the top is, uh, there it is, 9 meters. And we want to know the velocity at the bottom, right? And so, uh, so let's move that out of the way. Um, so that's the potential energy at the top, mgh, and the kinetic energy at the bottom is one half the mass times the velocity at the bottom squared. Okay, and uh, so this is this is the, the the conservation of energy. Notice there's a mass on both sides. If we divide both sides by m, the m's cancel. And I'm going to also bring this. Uh, two in the denominator of the you know the one half to the other side of the equation so what I do there of course is I'm going to multiply both sides by two so two so then I'm multiplying I'm multiplying of course this two cancels this two and so what do I have I have the velocity at the bottom squared is equal to two g H. And this all comes from the conservation of energy, of mechanical energy. And so um, let's, uh, let's finalize this. So, so the final version of this, uh, we've got to solve for the velocity at the bottom. So the velocity at the bottom is, since this is squared right here, we have to take the square root of both sides. So it's the square root of 2 g h and we just have to put in uh, really the height which was nine meters and that'll determine the final velocity let me see if I can squeeze this in here so the velocity at the bottom is equal to the square root of two times nine point eight sorry that doesn't look like a nine but that is a nine uh, nine point eight of course meters per second squared times the height in meters, which was uh, nine, I believe, right? Nine meters. And notice uh, this meters right here multiplies this meters right here to give us meters squared. So meters squared per second squared, but you're taking the square root. All right, and uh, let's figure out what this is, okay? So um, this will give us the velocity at the bottom. So it's going to be two times 9.8 times nine. Uh, but that's not the answer. We have to take the square root of that. 
So it's the square root of uh, 176.4. So the, the final velocity at the bottom is about 13.3. 13 13.3. And remember, there's meters squared per second squared, but you're taking the square root. So the answer is meters, the units anyway, are meters per second. So there is a conservation of energy problem. Um, you'll do several of them in the homework. And uh, all right, and that's pretty much chapter three.